It's time! All right, coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Bruce Lee and Mursad Bekhti. Well, this young man is a really accomplished submission specialist, and sometimes fighters get offended when you call them a specialist, but most people know what he's trying to do in there, and to this point, no one's really been able to stop. John, he will try to pull guard. He yeah. pulls guard anymore in the UFC at this point, but he understands that for him to be successful, the fight has to be in the grappling, in the jujitsu. If he's able to extend these jujitsu exchanges, he is the guy that is generally going to win. He understands position. He understands going from point A to point B. He always is the one controlling the underhook. Always has the frame. Just a knowledge of jujitsu that not many people can match. And you can be sure as he makes this walk tonight, he's thinking about just how quickly he can get this fight to the ground and utilize those aforementioned high-level submission skills. I fear not the man who has practiced 10,000 kicks once, but I fear the man who has practiced one kick 10,000 times. Enter Bruce Lee. I mean, that's Bruce Lee in a nutshell. Over and over and over, he did the same thing, and it shows in the technique because there's no wasted energy. There's no wasted movements. Everything he does, he does with a purpose. He goes in there with an idea of what he's trying to accomplish, and he gets it done. Bruce Lee is the absolute best. Bruce Lee is the man. His grappling, his takedown defense figure to be tested here tonight. But there aren't that many guys who are going to want to stand and trade on a napkin in the center of the octagon with the great Bruce Lee. No, if you're fighting Bruce Lee, you're shooting for takedowns right yeah. away. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Herb Dean. And now... This is the moment you've all been waiting for. Live from the sold out Madison Square Garden Arena in New York City. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter, holding a professional record of 13 wins, four losses. He stands five feet, eight inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Montreal, Quebec, Canada, Merced Bechtel. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, making his professional debut here tonight. He stands five feet seven inches tall, weighing in at 145 pounds, fighting out of Los Angeles, California, Bruce the Dragon Lee! You've been giving your instructions in the dressing room. Protect yourself at all times. Follow my instructions. We will have a clean fight. Touch gloves, let's make it official. And with that touch of the gloves, we are underway. Ready. Ready to fight? Good. All right, so here we go. Round one is underway. I can't wait to see how this fight plays out because he told us on Thursday that despite his opponent's submission acumen, he's more than willing to engage him on the A lot of times guys fight with their ego. They try to go and fight their opponent in their spot. Let's see if this proves to be a very bad decision. Left hand punch from the clinch. Man, he's just got a great feel for the striking round early in this one. The timing is on point. He's doing a great job of mixing everything up. And they separate. Good punch. Well, perhaps a sign of things to come as he lands a kick there. Nice kick landed by the gentleman. Lands with the right hand. Big clinch position. Watch him get busy with that other hand. Ooh, head kick lands. He's hurt. These guys throwing early. 
How good is this action about a minute in? I think I'm gassing out just watching this thing. I'm exhausted trying to call all the strikes that these two men are throwing at each other. What a fun fight. Yeah, I hate to be the punch counter. <laughs> oh, effective strike there by Beckton. Well done to catch the kick. We'll see what he can do with it. Oh, single collar tie here. Straight punch on the counter is good by Lee. Got to the clinch, controlled the posture, and lands some big knees from the close. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots to the midsection, and these will take their toll as this fight goes into the latter rounds. Got the single collar tie. Nice punch there by Lee. Oh, that was, man, he has a great double leg. My goodness, he has a great double leg. Posturing up now. And now the damage is about to start. Lands a strike now from the bottom. Nice work there by Lee. Under three minutes now to go on the round. Well, you gotta stay busy on the bottom. He's doing it here. Nice punch. Crazy accuracy and efficiency with these ground and pound strikes here. And if you're the opponent, you got to intelligently defend or the referee's going to stop. You got to defend. But you can see him now start the game posture and the intensity at which he's throwing these ground strikes is starting to improve. It's starting to elevate because he knows that he can get the finish. Oh, continuing to work the body to great effect. Lee gets stung by that leg kick. Beautiful punch. Back and forth we go. Beck, yeah, looks a little wobbly on his feet. What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish his fight. Right hand on point. Oh, and there is the kick. That one checked by Beck. Well, they've made all the right reads here tonight, and there's another one. Beautiful read on the leg strike as he catches it and then returns fire with a punch of his own. So they have got the timing down here at this point of the fight. He has a commitment to kick it tonight, and it shows. Oh, connects with another uppercut. I'm surprised his opponent's head stayed on his body after that. He won't be able to take many more of these. He's been taking them over and over again, and it's a testament to his chin. But you take one on the perfect spot, he will crumble like a stack of bricks. Well, he continues to find the openings tonight. Beautiful connection with the punch there. Accuracy at its best. Tags him with the left. Tried to set up the straight left, but he missed. All right, he closes the distance, gets the single collar tie. Right hand punch with the clinch. Bechtick's got the tie clinch now. Big punch to the body. Just out of range with that right hand. Stuffs that takedown attempt without issue. Nice kick there by Lee. Oh, look at him land another jab there. He's certainly using that weapon effectively here tonight. The most effective weapon in all of boxing, in all of combat sports, is a jab. This young man has a knowledge of using it like no one else. Lee gets caught with that punch. Final seconds of round one. All right, he'll engage in a single collar tie. Five minutes in the books. All right, let's check out some of the action from that previous round, DC, and what a display on the feet. Huge knockdown with that kick. Yeah, he's a high-level striker. He throws these kicks to the body, he throws them low, but when he goes up top, He's very powerful, and he can end anybody's night. The toughness displayed by his opponent allowed him to stay in the fight, but he cannot take many more of those types of strikes. with a punch there, DC. You like this guy. I like this guy a ton. And to watch his punch, I just put a smile on my face. 
Oh, and he lands another strike to the body. Not a ton of real estate there, but he certainly found it. Mectic's lower jaw looking extremely swollen now. Well, he has certainly found the range and staying pretty busy here on the feet. He's being busy, but it's also the timing and the accuracy that's allowing him to land so many attacks. Lee gets hit with a kick here. Let's see how he responds. All right, he engages in a single collar tie here. Oh! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. So holding on to him here, not doing a ton, perhaps just looking to recover. Lee gets caught with that punch. He'd be wise to get those hands up. Powerful leg kick lands. Back to the left hand now, unable to connect. So he's really starting to put together some significant body shots here. These are gonna take their toll as this fight goes on. Went for the inside leg kick. Big liver kick lands under the elbow. Battling for hooks. Whoa! Dude's hurt. Serve him up. Go get him. An uppercut in. Oh, he might be out. Inches right there, boy. Wow. It was a good night if that landed. Big punch from the clinch. This guy. Oh! He's in trouble. He's hurt bad. Holding on to him here, not really doing too much, perhaps just looking to recover. Oh man, head to land. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? Well, he's really starting to land a high number of strikes here in the second round. No denying that he has taken the message from his corner and picked up the pace here in round two. Oh, a little single collar tie there. And he landed the right hand there. Now he gets a more dominant position with the underhook. He is going to start to drive knees over and over. You got to be careful here. You got to move. Bechtick gets the tie clinch here. And they separate. Bechtick gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Real sneaky body kick. Lee's shot is blocked. Beautiful, straight counter. Well, he's been pretty accurate tonight. He's landed some significant strikes, but his corner's looking for him to mix it up a little bit more and just throw more volume. Because they don't see too much of a threat. This guy has to have confidence in knowing that when he extends his combination, he's still safe, but he's also going to be able to land. He's got to be finding that confidence in his mind that all the reps in the training room are going to pay off. Oh, that's a beautiful kick right there. I don't know if you've ever been kicked by a mule. Probably feels something like that. It has to. This guy has landed his kick with so much force. Well, he has certainly kept the punch counters busy tonight. He's landed a ton of significant strikes and clearly is winning this fight. Tonight. He's winning this fight going away, and it's one of those rare instances where everything comes together. Timing his shots pretty well here early, DC. He's doing a great job of mixing things up, keeping busy, being very active. Oh, he tags him with the straight hand there. Nice job by Beck. Over and over, he is landing punches to the head. Whoa! Oh, he's hurt bad. He's hurt bad, John. He's got to press him. He's got to go take that finish down now. All right, so he continues to land that patented jab and keeping his opponent at bay. You can know that it's coming. But until you're in there with him, the speed and the power of that jab is something you can't really prepare for. Now he engages in a Muay Thai clinch. You better protect that head. Great job securing the Muay Thai clinch. Watch for big knees to the body, and eventually him switch it up with a big knee to the head. Whoa! What a fantastic strike to throw at the exact right moment. He deserves this moment. Go finish this fight. Miss with that jab attempt there. Big punch lands over the top. How's he gonna follow this one? Overhand lands flush. And that's the end of round number two.
All right, there's the horn indicating the end of the round. So potentially a big factor here, ladies and gentlemen. The cut on the cheek sustained in that round. Certainly better to be below than above the eye, but the cut man's got to get in there and close that thing up. All right, well, his kicking game was outstanding in that round. We'll see if his opponent can make the adjustments, but take us through the replays before we get there. It's always weird to watch a young fighter start to come into his own. Early in his career, he did not have this ability. He did not have the ability to dictate and control fights with his legs. Now he does, and he looks like a future champion in the making. Well, just as he did the previous round, he continues to connect on a high volume of strikes. And a good sign, too, doesn't seem to be slowing down whatsoever. Oh, misses with the jab. Vectic gets caught. Whoa! He needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. and a great performance by this young man. Now we'll take a look back at the highlights. You know we're going to find that nasty head kick somewhere in this highlight rip. Just an incredible result for him here tonight. A very nice head kick to finish the fight. But don't ignore all the work he did with his hands. And give credit to the opponent. The opponent was in there every step of the way. And in order to get a fight of the night like you got tonight, both guys have to be willing to participate. Bruce Buffer has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean is going to stop in this contest at 39 seconds of the third round. He played the winner by knockout, Bruce the Dragon. So the celebration is on with him and his team, and rightfully so. A monumental result tonight as he gets the win by knocking. He spoke it into existence. He said over and over to anyone that'll listen, I am going to knock this man out. He did it in an even more impressive fashion than he ever could have imagined.